Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am, spur of the moment, going to do the unboxing for uh, this guy right now. Every time I want to cook, I'm like, geez, I should do the unboxing and show you guys if this works, but I'm just, like, not in the mood, and I'll say, well, I'll do it later. But I just got back from Roger's Supadala with tons of meat. He had some good sales, and he had my shoulder roast on sale this week. I bought four big roasts. I have some in my freezer. I bought haddock. I bought 10 pounds of ground beef. I bought liver. I bought bacon ends. I bought other stuff. He had five pounds of white mane potatoes, 99 cents a bag. And I don't eat the potatoes, but my mother loves potatoes. And I loved them because there's some really little potatoes in there. That's perfect for my mother because a lot of times she just likes to cut up a piece of a potato and she cooks that in her microwave. She does all kinds of stuff. She makes stews in her microwave. I got two bags of that. So if you are in or around Sanford, Maine, and you need potatoes, you can go get yourself some Maine potatoes at Rogers. And I just love to give them shout outs because I just love that store for lunch and I'm hungry. It is 2 p.m. I want beef, slices, and haddock. So I'm going to open this guy. We're going to see what is inside. I'm going to test the pan. I'm going to cook my beef first. Then while that's resting in my plate, I will cook the haddock. And let's see if anything sticks. I'm especially excited about cooking the haddock because haddock is very flaky. And if it sticks to the pan, it's not as easy to turn over, stuff like that. So I'm going to put it to the test. Let's open this baby. I probably won't use most of this pan. Oh, first of all, I got this at Walmart for $30. What I like about it is it's square, so I can cook more things at once. And it can go in the oven. You can bake in it. I mean, you can do all kinds of things. And it has, like, the strainer if you want to cook spaghetti in there and a little rack. I assume that's for steaming vegetables. I don't know. Don't listen to me. But those of you who know me, I'm eating just meat right now. have been for almost four months now. I don't know how to do this. Well, let's start with pieces. We have a cover, a fairly heavy cover. Oh, this is small. Is the pan going to be only this size? If so, big disappoint. I won't keep it. It didn't break. It is small. Why do they make it look so big on the box? I guess it's okay. Oh, this is much smaller than the pan. So, I don't know how to do anything. This could still come in handy if I cook my mother pasta, but I don't think I'd ever cook pasta in this. I'm very good at letting water boil over. I have to have a big tall pot to cook so that the water doesn't reach the top. <laughs> I can imagine great disasters if I tried to boil anything in this. All right, since it is, my God, I don't want to hit myself in the head. This is heavy. That's the other thing I wasn't thrilled about is heaviness. I do all my dishes by hand, and it's like, I gotta lug around a big, heavy thing. I have so many things that I can complain about. Huh? I just find all kinds of things. But it does have a handle, so I can do this. It actually, I think, gives me more surface area than the round pans I'm using right now. And I am totally okay with cooking all kinds of meat together at once. You guys have seen me in the past cook like that. So we're going to give it a try. Now, this thing that made noise is indeed this little tray that you can put. I don't know what to call things. A rack? I think this is a rack. And I'm sure you could use it to steam vegetables or maybe put, I don't know, put some meat on there. I don't know. I need instructions. I have instructions. And I have the TV lady. <laughs> wow. Lots of food with carbs. <laughs> I don't see any all meat recipes in here. Good enough. I'm not going to waste time because I'm hungry and I'm going to take you over to my stove top and we are going to cook beef and then haddock. This is one of the shoulder roasts that I bought today. It is shoulder oven slash pot roast. Just really tender. And I'm just going to open this up and slice a bit. 
first I'm going to take the ropes off without cutting myself and I'm going to cut some pieces because I'll bag that separately but I won't be freezing any of this this roast will last me maybe four days so I don't bother freezing it maybe three one two three I don't know it depends on how much other meat I also eat with it and then my mother of course eats some too when I buy roasts I just freeze them whole because when they thaw you know I I know that I'll I'll be eating it all. What I do is I just slice thin. I like my beef rare to medium rare. I eat all the fat. I think for lunch I'm having just haddock and beef and I always make sure I have more than enough because I want to eat until I'm absolutely satisfied and any leftovers just go back in the fridge and I eat them later. I like all these fatty parts. Nah, that should be enough. I think a little bit more. There. I almost always have ground beef with every meal too, but I'm skipping that today. I just feel like having beef and haddock, and that's why I took more beef than normal. Now I'm going to turn this on high. Since I'm not cooking with bacon ends today, I'm going to put a piece of butter in there. And no, I don't use the knife that just cut the meat. And I will leave the butter out because I will also want that for the haddock. Normally, I'll cook my beef and then I cook my haddock in the exact same pan without washing it because I like the beef flavor on my haddock. But today I will take this pan and wash it because I want to see how the haddock will do. I actually should have tested it without butter, right? Because it's not supposed to stick. So, see? I screwed up already. Maybe we'll do the haddock without butter. Ugh. It better not screw up my haddock. Is it getting hot? Let's plop it in there. Feels like it wants to slide around. Now I seriously do not cook my beef for long. You know, some people have an issue with that. I don't. Uh, let's just throw it all in. It's got a funny smell. I don't know if it's the pan or my dirty burner under it. <laughs> I'm already turning pieces over. What I normally do in my old pan is I do like two minutes on each side and then I just turn the burner off and let the meat just sit right in the pan and then it cooks the rest of the way. I wonder if I was supposed to do something to this pan. It smells um, like a pan. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if I was supposed to wash it. I should. Of course I should have washed it. What am I, an idiot? I mean, it's been in a box. What a dum-dum. Well, let's just pretend I washed it. Oh yeah, I washed it. I didn't show you guys. <laughs> I figure anything would just be cooked away anyway. I'm going to get my plate. See, I'm going to start pulling some of these pieces out. Because I want to make sure they're pink inside. The handle is not hot and this is not hot. I think that there's some stuff under my burner and that's what's making the smell. That piece out, that piece out, that's done, done. I don't know, to me it's almost more like it's boiling than frying in a pan. I don't know if I'm going to like that. That's done, that's done, that's done. Okay, I'm turning the burner off so this can cool a little bit. We'll let those two sit there for a little bit. They'll be done in a minute. Here is my lovely piece of haddock. It's a very flaky white fish if you haven't had it before. And I have actually been able to go fishing for haddock on my father's boat. We called it deep sea fishing. And it was very fun to go fishing as a kid. I did let this cool a little bit and I washed this and absolutely nothing stuck on it because you could see the meat was just ice skating on this. It was very easy cleanup. And it's supposed to be very resistant to scratches and things like that, so we will see. Of course, I will read the instructions. But I'm going to cook the haddock without butter. That'll be the real test. If I want it buttery flavored after, I can just add some butter to it. Haddock or any fish, when you sniff it, it should not smell like fish. This doesn't have any fish odor at all. They just got it in today at Roger's, and I grabbed, I don't know, like four of them. Okay, putting it in. I will add a little bit of salt to this since, again, I'm not having my bacon ends today. 
I used to love pepper on haddock, and I still love it. But I find pepper sours my stomach, so not doing it. Uh, you know what? This is sticking. This is sticking. Not happy. Turned it down a little bit to like seven. It's not like it's sticking like it's going to fall apart if I flip it or something, but it's not sliding on this pan at all. See? There's, there's sticky stuff there. It's because of the skin of the fish. So they should say in the infomercial, this will not stick unless you're cooking skin of a fish. Let's flip it. Oh, what a terrible job. Well, I'm going to cut this filet, I guess. Ugh, I'm, I'm already frustrated. I'm frustrated that this didn't go exactly the way I hoped because I had to have stickage, and that doesn't make me happy. I'm going to let that cook on, like, number seven, which is, I don't know. I know people have different stoves, and some say, can you please say, like, high, medium, low? I don't know. It's number seven. Yeah, that stuff is stuck to the bottom of the pan. See, I hesitate to take a knife to cut, but we're supposed to be able to. I don't know. Might have to go back. I'm going to let that sit there for another two minutes. I'll be back. I'm not happy. The other thing that bothers me, I really think I could get used to it, but I don't like the depth of this. I am never using this to do any baking in the oven, and I find that it's hard to get under with my spatula because I got this huge freaking edge of a pan in my way. So that's not good. You know, they show you can bake cakes in it and stuff. I don't want it for that. I don't like that it just looks like everything is just boiling. Plus the fish is sticking. I do believe it will go back. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put the fish in my plate, I'm going to let this absolutely cool to see if the residue of fish skin will be hard to remove. I don't think it will be, but it certainly won't come off with just, you know, wiping with a paper towel like they show on the commercials. So I'm just going to take this off the burner and let it cool. I'm going to go eat, and then I will tell you how cleanup went. I didn't eat too much today. This is going all back in the fridge for... Probably tonight. If not, I'll eat it tomorrow. Now, this is what we have. This stuff is just all stuck on there. And I'm going to see what happens if I use just hot water and soap and a dishcloth. I don't want to be doing any scraping. I have meat in my teeth. <laughs> it's going back. It's going back, and that's all there is to it. As soon as it's dry, I am boxing it, and I have the receipt, and it will be returned the next time I go to Walmart, which will be soon because I have to pick up meds for my mother. Not only did I have to use a scrubby, I mean, I even let it soak. See, when I eat, I like to just have everything done after. Come back, clean my pans, and put everything away. I don't want to have to let something soak. I don't want to have to exert myself to clean it. I don't mind exerting myself, but not when they promote something that it's not going to stick. I really would have liked to try cooking an egg in there. But the thing is, is that, you know, with letting it soak a little bit and using a little scrubby pad, of course, I was able to get it clean, but I don't like the height of that. It's just in the way. It's like I, it's too high for my arm to be able to use the spatula the way I want. I just don't need it because I'm not going to be cooking other things that require a deep pot. I know they do have like copper pans that are smaller and I think that will work better for me. Seriously, I should have cleaned my teeth before doing this video. <laughs> I'm so classy. And now my battery died and I had to change cameras. I say do not buy unless you have a family and you're going to do a lot of deep pot cooking and you want to put a big heavy ass pan in and out of the oven, then fine and dandy. But I will not ever use this. I don't need that rack and that strainer and big waste of money going back. And it was, like I said, $30. So I can use that $30 on more meat. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more soon. Bye. This is now the next day, and I returned the pan because I had to go to Walmart. You can expect a tag along with me to Walmart video coming up soon. I'm going to edit it and upload it as soon as possible.